It is the news that many of you in Baltimore City and parts of Baltimore County have been waiting for. After three days under a boil water advisory tonight, the Department of Public Works and Mayor Brandon Scott are lifting the order. Welcome to those of you who are watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rick Ritter. I mean, what some of you and your families have had to deal with beyond frustrating, and of course, this all started back on Monday after DPW said samples of that water came back positive for E. coli. But tonight, after retesting the affected areas, leaders say some neighbors can start using their water once again. WJC's Live, Annie Rose Ramos continues leading our coverage on this. And Annie Rose, while DPW and Mayor Scott are now lifting this advisory, they're not lifting it for everyone. Can you break it down? Rick and Vic, after three straight days, the affected area map is getting smaller. But tonight, the mayor telling me this still affects thousands of people who still have to boil their tap water. And now DPW is asking for your help. We want everyone to flush. Tonight, DPW asking everyone inside this map, shaded and dotted lines included, to flush. You want to do all your faucets, uh, your tubs, everything in your house, your showers. We want you to flush your entire system and start from the bottom floor of your home and, and, and flush upwards. After the city partially lifted the water boil advisory for all of Baltimore County, Howard County, and some of Baltimore City. The reason uh, there is a partial lifting and not a full lifting is that DPW is awaiting analytical data uh, from the laboratory to confirm that there is no E. coli. But still leaving those within these lines under a boil advisory for a third day in a row. This is a significantly smaller area than, than before, but we're still talking about thousands of folks who are still impacted uh, in that impact area. And because of the inconvenience, the city giving a discount. We are going to be extending a 25% discount on water bills in the next cycle for the entire city of Baltimore. This all started when DPW says routine tests over the weekend showed harmful bacteria, including E. coli, in the water. On Monday, they issued a water boil advisory. That's the way we got to do it. We, we make coffee and all that kind of stuff. So. Distribution sites going up quickly, but some running out. Now what are we going to do for tonight for water? All the stores are out of water. Everybody's out of water. The city still doesn't know what caused the contamination, but they're now investigating two possible cases. It is too soon to say that it's directly linked to exposure from the water, but we are investigating actively two cases um, of individuals who live in the advisory zone. All of my symptoms were matching what the E. coli symptoms are. As the day progressed, I started feeling worse, having the stomach cramps. Um, Jackie and Hailthorpe first thought her sickness was from something she ate, but then others started feeling sick too. My boyfriend also started feeling um, a little unwell. And then her cat. There is something happening to all three of us, so it couldn't have been just what I ate. And Vic, the mayor telling us tonight those three water distribution sites will remain open 9 a.m. until 8 p.m. until this water crisis is over. And Vic, for more information on what this flushing process looks like, what you have to do, what it entails, head to our website, WJZ.com. We have everything you need to know there. Live at 11, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.